Oh, hi everybody. So now we like we go to the third part and last of uh, of our uh, um, course and uh, lamps using lamps for uh, active matcha. So today uh, I will give you a more advanced hands on on how to uh, to implement a new a new some, some new class on on lamps so you can you can have different implementations and you, and everything that you can see in this folder of the source part you can have a new a new pair style you can implement a new fix uh, that does some uh, different uh, things i think this is very well organized and and um, it's it's it, can you can add a lot of package and as you can see in different um, folders this user folders yes our user made package that were approved by the developers of of lamps the one that i will talk today it's already implemented in lamps so it's the 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 active brownian part the active part is already implemented uh, in lamps as i say in the in my notes where where I, I am I refer to the okay the if I remember the fix proper self so it's already implemented in lamps but uh, since we are studying the, the active particles and we want to um, to have a, a hands on and to implement a new fix we'll use this one as an example which is I think is more or less easy to to do so the 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 ideal way will be to you to to take a um, similar one or something that is simpler uh, since we want to implement a, a force direct in the direction one of a particle so you could just took one of these fix that has had a force when so you have a uh, fix add force for instance here and you could uh, you could just try just copy this one to a new name and just try to implement over in from that which is uh, which is shorter than the one that i use but it's a little bit harder to implement and the reason is we want to have a, a particle a type of particles that have an orientation so you have a initial orientation and you can use this initial orientation and use the the rotation of the of the particle along the along the time and and use this this di preferred direction just for the the force to apply the force always in that direction so you have to also, you have to include the the, the type of particles and uh, you have to have some some flags for this type of parties if everything is okay and uh, so we, what i did is just to to take the fix uh, langevin that uh, so this is just um a fix that the that I used that as example in the, in the in the first part. So if you go to my notes, I have the examples for the Langevin dynamics of a passive particle. And so I took I take the fix of, of this, which is this fix Langevin uh, dot cpp and this fix Langevin dot h. And uh, what I did, I just copy them to a new fix. It's fix uh, it's copy fix Langevin active and fix Langevin active dot h. So in the beginning they were exactly the same. So if I go to the fix uh, Langevin dot cpp, this is the the code. So it's quite big. So that's not a good reason to use that because it's complex. But um, the things that I want to implement it's are quite short. And so I only need to just change the names. So instead of having these fixed Langevin, I have the fixed Langevin underscore active name I give. And, uh, and I do the same for all the names in the class. Okay, so the constructor, the, everything in the class just changed. The fixed Langevin, I just have an active. And uh, as you can see, I can show you the example with the active. Can see I just change these names, and that's it. And the same in all 
of them and in the in the active dot h the header file the same thing i change everything the, the names of the class and what you can see here is that okay this is the fixed style and this is how it's called the langevin style when i go to my active dot header file I just call langevin slash active. And this is how it will be called in the script file. So if you go to the script file, this is what I use as an example uh, for the script that I gave you. And you can do the same. And as you can see, I just change all the names. So one thing that I had, I had a, a, a variable for the activities, just a double. Just, uh, when I do so I, I, I inserted it in the in the H the the header file. And then when we want to so I'll show you the before, so the CVV file. So we're in this part where it reads uh, uh, the values that you when you, you in the script you put the name and then and you have the values uh, after the 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 command that you you want to use and uh, you can see what it checks okay and here it's it checks if you have the angmon command so the angmon comments is the the scaling factor that i, that, uh, I talked uh, say um, in the first uh, talk which is the the scaling between the, the rotational and the, the translational diffusion uh, damping time so here is where it is rescaled. And then when you it's rescaled with this as scale variable. So you just keep this. This will be this alpha that I that I show you in the, in the Langevin equation. You can see in the notes on the in the talk. And what we do is just add another uh, argument. So instead of uh, two arguments, we will add a, a, another argument for the uh, the activity. So as I can show you in the file, if we go to the same value, so this egg one, what I did is that I just have the value for activity and instead of I hard plus one, I just have I hard plus two, and then you just have to have these uh, two values. Here I need to have the plus three instead of plus two. And that is the three things that I change in the in this initial part. And, and now I just can call it. For, for now, it just doesn't do anything different, but you'll have a value of activity in the script and you can check the notes for the script, how to call it. And, uh, and you'll see that uh, just that now, after Angman, you have the SQL and then you have the activity you can you can give the value there okay so now we have uh, the we have this new class whenever you have a new class you just have to put it here in the source file you just uh, recompile the lamps and it'll detect automatically that you have a new class and it will add it to the to the the executable to the to the lamps uh, package uh, uh, it's ready to to use if you have no problems compiling. So the next step is now we, uh, the, why do I, did I choose uh, to use the, um, the Langevin? Because the Langevin already has this angmum and this angmum is for uh, ellipsoid particles. Of course, we don't need to use ellipse, we use ellipsoidal particles as a, to define the type of particles instead of uh, atomic or spherical part, but we can just, Consider the radius the same for all the axes, and uh, and you'll have uh, the, the same value. So what you have, you still have this flag, okay? So you have the ellipsoid flag, and you'll check if you have an ellipsoid particle, and you don't need to do that if you if you if you do it from scratch, you'll have to implement that. In this case, is already in the, in this Langevin, so it's quite easier for us, and then we'll 
what we have is that at each um, uh, at each time step, you are after the computation of the forces, you'll have a post force command, which is one of the most useful. Uh, so this is this is the post force. In this case, in this last one, they divided in post different names, but this is the post force um, function. And this is very important. This is so after the computation of the force, you just add a new terms to your to every part on the system. And this is what in in what step of the the very light algorithm it occurs quite just after the, the, the computation of the force. And then you'll uh, you just have to use this post force. And in this post force, he'll have two calls. So it will check if the particle is uh, spherical or is um, is a spherical, <laughs> is a ellipsoidal. And if it's a, a spherical particle, you'll do this thermostat with omega. And if it's uh, a spherical, it's a, if it's a, ellipsoid to this Angmon thermostat, which is the one that we care. So in this Angmon thermostat, you, you can you can check all the, the torques and you head to the torques. And one important thing that we have here is that this we can we know how to get to the to the quaternions, which is uh, which is a bonus for us because we already have this implemented. So it's quite it's easier for us to check. So we can go directly to the quaternions. And, uh, and, and then we just had a few lines here that to, we take the values of the quaternions. Now we just convert these values to, uh, to, the, to the axis in, uh, in Cartesian coordinates, and then just apply the force in that direction. And then one thing it's this math extra values that the uh, lamps already have this a lot of comments and we'll use one of these for the translation from the quaternions to the the, the principal uh, axis of uh, of our particle and it's quite straightforward how to to implement i would show you so it, it will be here uh, what happened here we have a, a, a four that goes to all the particles uh, in the local uh, processor so if it's parallelizing different just go to the particles in this uh, the parallelized uh, process and uh, you'll check of all the particles you get the values and you just have to you will get the quaternions and, and then you can just uh, uh, have the force here because it's here that we had the the torques we had the translation the part the langevin part so as you can see here you have the the, the langevin terms this is for the translational okay and then you have for the the rotational here and so you just have to uh, to add before uh, after the translation just add a new term to the to the um, to the force okay so um, here now it's just the this is the inertial and the the the, the rotation here okay so um so what we'll do next and i'll show you how to implement this uh, this new line here i'll show you the, the file that i i used so the same thing here go to the angman thermostat and here in the um, thermostat, we'll just have the rotation as I show you. And what I did is just add this few line here, a few uh, just a few lines here, and the values that uh, the variables that I needed for that. So I had to create three new uh, new arrays: direct one, two, and three. Which are the the the, the principal uh, axis of the of the particle, and uh, but we just did the the the, the first one, so but uh, to use this Q two E X Y Z, you need four the the three, so just implement it, but I don't use it, and then what we'll do is that since we we'll get the 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 quaternion here, 
you'll just have the just have to convert from quaternions to the the principal x then i normalize just have the of the vector and then just multiply multiply each direction x y z by the activity divided by the norm and i just had this it was equal to the force here so i have to call the force okay you have this there for all the force of all the atoms just call it and then add it here and you will add uh, an extra term to the the force here the force are computed in the in the post force and it's so that for the translational and this is just for the rotation but just can add the here the 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 new activity and this is uh, after you implemented it this i have this print screen print the screen just to have some tests but you can test yourself and and then you just have to to uh, to to recompile the the new fix okay so um and whenever you recompile you just get the the you just get the executable and 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 you just have to to um to run the the same script the script that i show in the notes and you can do the tests that we will do in, in the homework but uh, since we're using the the langevin as a reference is is quite straightforward to to implement it's not the optimal way but i think for an introduction to to uh to add some new fix to to learn it's a good start then you can just check out to to add a new pair of force or anything you need it's pretty complete lamps is pretty complete so uh actually uh, active particles was just uh, added very recently but uh, still it's you have everything that you can think of you should first see if it's in the in the manual and and if it's implemented and then if you if you need you could implement it by yourself but uh, right now you you should uh, carefully read everything to to be sure that you you have everything you need so uh, you go through my notes try to implement it yourself try to to if you have some questions send me an email before uh, 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 before the the discussion uh, i will answer it during the week and whenever you send me and uh, uh, we can uh, we can have everything ready to to do the work the homework in the in the in the day of the, the presentation okay and if you have any question whatever you need just to, just send me uh, an email okay and uh, i think we'll finish the, the, the last presentation now <laughs>